Well, during the hurricane, Ian, you know, when you live in Florida, always expect a hurricane. Well, during the hurricane, my mango tree fell. I mean, I plan to chop it off, but as you can see, it's blossoming. It's getting ready to do mangoes. So I'm gonna decide on what I wanna do. So I just wanna see if these mangoes for next year are gonna be healthy or not. As you can see, they're all over the tree right now. So that's how you can tell when mangoes are starting. Cause you can tell by them blossoming, they're giving you this color, this type of leaf. And the bees would come in and start like pollinizing them. That's how you know. So I want to decide on what I want to do with this mango. I have this mango for about, it's going on three years now. I've been growing it. Last year, gave me some mangoes, but they weren't as healthy. So I'm trying to see this year if I'm going to get some healthy mangoes out of this tree or like, if not, I'll decide to chop it off because I make this from the pit. It's not a graft mango tree. So when you make a mango from a pit, it's gonna grow more rapidly, I guess, or more um, taller, I would say, because um, it's actually from, it's a true mango. So that's why you see some when you buy like a mango tree from a store or something like that, it's dwarf or it doesn't grow as much because it's from like a branch, like a branch like this. You just pull it off or you chop it off. And when you chop it off, you kind of graph it. Well, you know, it's not an exact science because I'm, I'm not an agricultural uh, ag agronomist or whatever the word is. I'm not one of those people. I just do my own thing. You know, I like to do stuff. You know, I grow up watching my parents being farmers you know i grew up being outdoors cooking your own food type of thing um growing your own food type of thing so i'm really into that stuff so if you really want a true mango tree you have to go from the pit meaning like when you finish eating a mango what is left over of that mango that you can't eat that's what you plant